Okay. Well, okay, here's a tutorial on GIMP. Look in the description for why I'm doing this. So, yeah. Basically, GIMP is a free open source or image editing program. You go to uh, GIMP.org, you probably can't see it, resolution is a bit low, uh, and you just go to downloads and then download latest version 2.6.6 at the current time, but right now there are like pretty up updates. So go to the menu, start it up, Oop. and I'm going to teach you Standard interface, transparency, basic layer information, auto rendered effects. Um, I'm not sure that does it. So, first of all, press new. We're just going to start with the 640 by 400. That's that's standard template that I'm just going to use. Okay. Now, first we shall start with the background. Uh, it, well, actually, we're not going to start with the background. We're probably going to start with um. Actually, we are going to start with the background. To do auto-generated stuff, we go to filters, then there's render, there's a few things that we can do, uh, which is basically like, sure, this is pretty cool. Now, you can do anything, you can do the lava, which, for some reason, it came behind, uh, like, oh, sure, I'll just do it. The seed is kind of like a randomization, and basically, it just starts loading everything. Uh, like, this is an auto, this is like, um, a plug-in. That so and so. You can find plugins all around to help to help you do these auto generated effects. Um yeah, this one's actually taking quite a lot of loading actually. Ooh. Whoop, that bar is going up. Oh snap. <laughs> I wanted to hurry up. Okay, I'll just do something in the time. Uh look up here in the sky, what do we see? Um we see the toolbox. This is basically like where you can get some stuff. This is square tool, rectangle select. This is an ellipsis select. This is a free select. So basically, these you can select stuff on. Oh, this is the fuzzy select, which allows you basically this one drag a rectangle. This drag a circle. This drag anything. This click and then it'll try and do stuff. There's my lava. Um, um I undid it. Uh, it'll try to do, like, anything, um, like, it'll try to select, it. yeah, this is, uh, plasma, so I'm just gonna use the plasma because I like it. Randomize, there we go. Plasma is a quick, a quick effect, and it's pretty cool, actually. Okay, now, now, um, this is the select by color, with similar colors. This is the crop scissors tool, the foreground select tool. Like a foreground object thingy. This is the path tool, makes paths. This is color picker tool, which allows you to pick a certain color from that pixel. This is a zoom tool, but I just recommend you hold control and scroll the mouse wheel. Uh, this is the measure tool. Hello, oh, measure distances and angles. Move tool, move stuff. You know, alignment tool, align stuff. Crop tool, remove edge areas and such. Rotate the tool, you know, yeah. Uh, scale the tool, scale tool, shear tool. Uh, the shear allows you to, like, kind of, like, you know, like, make a side, kind of, like, stretch it along. The perspective tool, kind of changes perspective. The flip tool, flips around. The text tool, um, standard paint bucket fill, blend tool, allows you the gradient. Pencil tool. Uh, paintbrush, it's kind of writing. There's also the airbrush and uh, ink tool, which allows you to kind of write, write in a special way. Erase tool, um, you know, clone tool allows you to copy images. Healing tool allows you to heal irregularities. Perspective clone allows you to clone perspectives. Blur or sharpen, uh, using the brush thingy. The smudge tool is basically a smudge. And this is the dot burn. You're not really gonna look, use all these right now. In fact, you're not really gonna use many of them. Uh, we're now gonna import some text. Well, we're going to put some text. So you can just press that, or you can press that. Um, and drag an area down here. You can see that the text box has come up automatically. I'm gonna write my uh, power level is over 
9,000, but only because I took a potato chip and ate it. No, just kidding, that's kind of long. In fact, that's really long. <laughs> uh, uh, the, I'm, I'm just going to say that this is going to be a buddy image. Okay? Okay, now, in case if you're wondering, there's justification. Move into the center. Like, uh, if you've got, like, a word processing, you you pretty much would know these. Basically, just keep it in the left, keep it in the right, keep it in the center, and if it goes to the next line, then it will try and stretch to fit the line. Um... I recommend center. I also recommend that you put it on a light color. As you can see that. On um, when you're picking a color, you have this tool. You have this. You have this. You have this. And you have this. Few options to pick. Now, when you go into font, you can press this. It does take a little while to kind of get all the fonts up. Seriously, it takes a while. It's okay if you scroll it up like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna get all the old price stamp. It's like, oh, but it's not really all that large. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the size to like 50. Nah, I think I'm gonna change the size to 60. Yeah, 60 seems pretty good. Okay, that's good. Now, text always comes up in its own layer. The thing with the layers is that it, um, it's basically like the layers is kind of like the ordering or such. This anything that's higher up on this list is hot is going to be higher up and as such um like when you save it in a file type if you save it as a picture file it's going to save it as a flat image which means that it's going to be uh it's going to be so um something like that so uh now we have to um uh open as layer because this will open a picture as layer by the way this is a previous picture that i took so you i'm making a model of this uh, just get out any picture you want, I guess. Oh, crap. Crap, I should probably order all of these. Yes, I have all these blank pictures. Let's just get out the old Munchlax Mini. And you can see that it's currently not large. So, we have to get out the move tool. And move it up. And we need to get the scale tool. I click on it, we got to drag it up. It's like, hang on, I don't want it to be fat like that. Just click that, it'll change together and keep the proportions. Now, this is where thing, it shows the original position. Uh, but, like, for now, I think it's like, oh, that seems, no, I kind of want it a little bit bigger. In fact, I want to hang under the text. Okay, scale. Yeah, there we go. It's good enough. Now, hang on. It's a, it's in front. Now, I'm not really going to go into complete depth of the layers, but I'll teach you how to do this. Basically, you just click on it. There will be these arrows. This allows you to lower it. Now, the text is on top of the image. Okay, you see where I'm going? Yeah. Now, there's just one problem. I don't want this blocky layer outside much lax. So, you know what I do? I'm going to go to the fuzzy select tool and click. It will try and crop out. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Go to the undo and do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, select layer and select transparency. If it's got an alpha layer, just press remove because normally that fixes it or something. I'm not sure why it's happening to me a few times. But yeah. Once you've added your alpha layer, you do this and you delete. Now you have transparency. Now, unfortunately, I um I've kind of got a blocky outline. This is this is probably the quick way to do this. But if I actually, you know, I know I should have planned this out. There we go. Zoom it in. Zoom it in. The Munchlax needs some room. Uh, layer transparency. Oh, it doesn't have the alpha layer. Okay, let's try this. Well, clearly, this is working. Because it, it, it's easier to do it. And it's. But before you resize it, it's easier to do it 
before you actually resize it. Because they could just select all the spots, just delete them. Rather than actually having. Oh, crap. Yeah, you can also use the middle mouse button to easily scroll. Now, as you can see, you're going like, well, why is it coming out with the background as such? That's because, um, that's because, uh, like, it's on a separate layer. These are, like, separate images put on top of each other. They're not necessarily the same image, they're different images. Put that into mind. Layers are completely different images.